there. I'm Chris Berman. Up next on ESPN, the road to the Super Bowl continues here on ESPN. The field is narrow. We'll be down to four teams by the end of the day Sunday. Coming up, we've got an awfully good divisional matchup for you here. Raiders, Browns. It's game time. Wow, the teams are out on the field getting loose. The fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. Welcome to this AFC Divisional Playoff game here on ESPN. I'm Dan Stevens. My pal Peter O'Keefe is here with me. And Peter, the winner of this game will be headed to the AFC Championship game. That's right, Dan. It's win or go home. With the conference championship game within reach, both teams have tasted their share of success this season, Dan. However, one team today will taste bitter defeat. With the game about to begin, we'll see who has what it takes to advance to the next round. And now let's go down to the coin toss. Number 76 kicks it off, and this division championship is underway. Garrett fields it all the way back at the 6. Tackled at the 31. The weather is a factor, and ESPN's very own Susie Culber has some information for us. Susie. Thank you, Dan. It's extremely cold right now, and it's a constant battle for the players to stay warm out here. If you don't, your fingers get numb, your body slows down, and you risk injury. Back to you. Susie, thank you. Branch goes in motion. Number 30 makes the catch on the right sideline and is well past the markers for a first down. Number 30 is all by himself, and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. First and 10. the Raiders, 45 yards. Number 69 gets the sack way back at the 40. If it was up to me, I'd, I'd bring him in. Number 69 gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs will spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. Number 87 catches the hard throw and is at the 45. Finally popped out of bounds at the 46. Ten-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Zero. That's the flag here. Let's check it out right now and see what happened. Yep, that's offensive holding. The refs were very right to throw that flag. Number 12 unloads this one to the left, and it's caught for a gain of 20 on the play. Tony Number 12 throws into a crowd here and by some miracle gets a completion out of it. I don't know how that happened, Dan. Let's have another look. There you go. Well, the D had him covered, and they just couldn't get to the ball in time. A perfect pass. You can't coach that. That kind of pass is instinct. Nice game, and that puts them in a very convertible third down situation. Yeah, you know, Dan, my last convertible was a 72 Nova. You know, Peter, it's no wonder you were a lineman. <laughs> Number 49 grabs the fastball over the middle, and they convert on third down. First down, one man back. Number 12 really rifles this pass, and he connects at the 19. Touchdown! 
Number 49 has three guys on this play looking for the interception, but they don't get it. He says, I'll take that, thank you very much. Oh, that's a wonderful catch. The defense should be shaking their heads. The touchdown was his for the taking, Peter. Good individual effort. Yeah, and great teamwork, too. Number 14 to attempt the extra point. Number 15, holding. <laughs> Now the point after, and it's good. Number eight, kicking off for the Raiders. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number eight kicks this one away. Roberts fields the kickoff at the two. Breaks the tackle, brought down at the 27. Terrell Roberts was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Browns will start this drive at their own 27-yard line. Second and one. Ball up the ground. It's 35 yards. Green will get the handoff and picks up a couple. Michael Green played it smart on that last one by following his blockers, but hey, they were unable to open up any holes for it. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. Green gets the call again and heads wide right. Tackled at the 43. That will bring up first down. Eric Warfield gave a terrific block downfield back there. It's great to see a wide receiver get in on the action. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. First down, two wide outs on the field. Kelly picks up six on the play, and that will bring up second down. Second and four. Warfield goes in motion. Warfield catches this one and gets past the markers for a first down. Eric Warfield had a man playing him close back there, but he made a great move to get the catch. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Lyon just rifles this one, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Sean Ryan has little problem completing this pass. He makes it look so easy, and he's getting paid so much money, Dan, it makes you wonder. And there he is with the catch. Well, look, uh, you got an easy job, Peter, and you made a lot of money. What's the difference? Well, the difference is I got to work with you. Oh, yeah. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. This one will fall incomplete. Michael Green did not make that completion and he would have had some room on the outside had he made it. That one falls incomplete. Not much there had they completed it, but there was a little room to maneuver afterwards. Perhaps a big play. Perhaps not. Second down coming up. Green picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up third down. Number 32 with the tackle. You just stay where you are. Third and nine. Ball at the 29. I see two. I see two. Shot. Ball 
Warfield pitches it over the middle, and they get the first on third and long. Eric Warfield has three guys on this play looking for the interception, but they don't get it. He says, I'll take that, thank you very much. Oh, that's a wonderful catch. The defense should be shaking their heads. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. Warfield goes in motion. Ryan rifles this one hard over the middle and it's intercepted. Stopped at the six. Number 43 got the interception back there off a tip from one of his own teammates. Wow. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Raiders had an effective first drive, and we'll see if they can keep it up. They'll start at their own six-yard line. And a bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that, and they go to nickel. Number 50 takes him down back at the four. Number 50 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Davis loses one on the play, and that will bring up third down. Number 82 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. And boy, that was an excellent job of staying with his man, that time to make a good tackle. Yeah, it looked like a skate drill in practice. You keep your feet moving, zone in, and make the play. Perfectly done. Number 30 barges off right guard and gets taken down well short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. Yeah, Number eight Roger lines up in his own man. end zone for the punt. Reggie Kelly to make the return. Number eight gets the ball and pummels this one deep. Kelly gets it at the 43. Tackled at the 46. Reggie Kelly returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of war and peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Browns were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at the 46-yard line. Green takes this one way out left and gains close to 10 yards on the play. Michael Green makes some yards on this play but falls short of the marker. It's close but no cigar. Well, he ran out of bounds. He needs to be more aware of where he is on the field. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second, and second down, two tight ends in the game. Green gets the call again and passes the line. Tackle at the 35. First down. Kelly will get the carry on first down and maybe picks up one on the play. Second and eight. Ball at the 34-yard line. Ryan rifles it out left side and it's tipped. Incomplete. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Yeah, see this right here? Feel this? All right. It hurts. Oh, gonna be all right, man. You're 
Third down, eight yards to go. It's intercepted. Breaks free, gets out at the 35. Check out the interception here on the replay, Dan. Watch how he reacts to get in the ball's path. Nice. That's how you make the INT, baby. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Raiders are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their 35-yard line. Number 12 lobs this one way over the middle, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Number 87 had a chance for a mid-range completion back there, but he just couldn't connect. No catch. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation, and it's really not going to hurt you. That's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Number 50 tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Number 50 was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That's his second tackle so far. Third down, one man back. Number 12 makes the throw after the play action fake, and it's complete. Short of the markers, however. Fourth down coming up. Number 25 managed to take him down just before he got to the markers. And at the end of that play, Peter, it goes to show you what leverage and good positioning can do when it comes to making the tackle. Yeah, and you know, Dan, that's especially important when you're outmatched on strength. That's a good play there. Number eight lines up to punt after the three and out. Number eight takes the long snap and punts it away. Stopped at the 18. Reggie Kelly got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Browns have turned the ball over the past two times out. They need to hold on to it as they start this drive at their own 18-yard line. Number 61 sacks him back at the 15. Number 43 was shaken up earlier, and I, I hear Susie Culber has a report for us. Susie? Thank you, Dan. After talking with the trainers, I found out that he's hyperextended his shoulder. They're putting a brace on him, but it's taking longer than they expected. It's unclear whether he'll be able to get back into this one. Back to you, guys. As always, we'll hope for the best up here in the booth. Thank you, Susie. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Raiders are out in front, seven to nothing. Number 43 makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Sean Ryan has had difficulties to say the least, and now he's second-guessing everything he's throwing. Terrible day. So far, he's struggled to get 34 yards and two interceptions. Throws a bullet to the flat, and the catch is made at the 13. Brought down at the 17. Hendricks was in on the tackle. That will bring up fourth down. Tommy Hendricks made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. And as far as tackles go, this was a pretty good one. He had this one lined up from the get-go. Well, you kids at home, if you're thinking about playing D, pay attention. That's exactly what you want to do. Number 20 takes it at the 41. Back down at the 45. Number 20 racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Raiders have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at the 45-yard line.
Number 12 dumps this one to the flat, and the reception is made for a pickup of maybe a yard. Number 49 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Number 89 goes in motion. Number 30 picks up about two, and that brings up third down. Peter, once he closes his grip around you, you are not going to get free, regardless of how evasive you are. Not with that strength. With those guns, he could probably juggle bowling balls, or wide receivers for that matter. Number 12 throws this on a rope, and it's intercepted. Stop at the 35. Number 12 is feeling some pressure as he lets this one go, which is why it zings right into the defender's reach. He wishes he had that one back. That's the first time he's been picked off today, and by the look on his face, well, he knows he should not have thrown that one. That is one unhappy man down there. The Browns stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their 35-yard line. Collins snags the dart right sideline, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Todd Collins is going to make a great play right here. Snags the football and then really turns on the juice. That'll be his first catch of the game after being shut out the entire first quarter. This is a bit of a slow start for him. Yeah, it is, Dan, but he will see the ball more and more as the game goes on. Green gets his seventh carry of the game and heads out right. One man to beat, finally dropped at the 15. It will be first down. Dan, check out all the yards he snarfs up here. Yes, snarfs. That's an old football term. <laughs> Tell you what, though, this is a great play. What a run, Peter, and his numbers are adding up. Adding up to one big number. Up to now, he's got 51 yards on seven carries. Oh, look at those numbers. That's how to get it done on the ground. will get stopped at the line, and that brings up second down. Number 41 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his second tackle so far. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. Kelly carries it past scrimmage and picks up a couple. Okay, Phil, we went over this all week in practice. Now we're going to get it this time. Now we're going to go just like it is. We're going to execute, and we're going to stay strong, and we're going to get to the spots we need to. Okay, fellas? Let's finish this series off Third strong. and seven. Go, go, go. Ball to 13. Number 43 puts a lick on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Pass interference. Incomplete. Number 43, defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul. Number 43, slap around the receiver way too much on that play, and the ref let him know it with a flag for pass interference. Hold him down, Dino. Give him six. Ball go, on the ball. Go, go. Well, I bet we see the pass here, right to his go-to receiver. Warfield goes in motion. Lyon zips it to the left sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Alex Brown knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up.
Dan, this is a nice little run here. A good job of slicing through the D and picking up the yards that he needed. I love to see fight like that on those shorter plays. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have him. But so far, he's got 52 yards and one touchdown. Now the point after, and it's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number 76 kicks this one away. Garrett fields it all the way back at the two. Drag down at the 23. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. How they turned the ball over leaps out at me, and you have to think that that could come back to haunt them. Turnovers are the most telling stat in the NFL. Kevin Garrett got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Raiders haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 23-yard line. Number 25 goes in motion. Number 12 throws a heater right sideline, and it is not reeled in, incomplete. was the intended receiver. Tony Perry with the cover. Davis has his number called on second down and will gain close to six. Tony Perry with the tackle. Number 12 zings it to the right side and it's tipped incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Never got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. Peter, the defense stood tall and forced the incompletion, but I don't understand that call. Uh, they wouldn't have gotten much at all, even if it was complete. Fourth down either way, and in my opinion, too, a bad call. Number eight lines up for the punt. Number eight gets the snap and punts it away. Kelly heals the punt at the 31. Tackled at the 35. Reggie Kelly didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Browns bring their offense on the field and will start this drive at their 35-yard line. Green carries it for the ninth time and rambles for about five. Green will take the handoff and takes it upfield. Tackle at the 46. That will bring up first down. Michael Green has had a great day on the ground. Great movement outside the tackles and using his speed to round the corners. Great game. He's racked up 63 yards and one touchdown. First down, two receivers to the left. Green bulldozes right of center and maybe picks up one on the play. Michael Green used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Warfield goes in motion. Interceptor. Locked down at the 40. <laughs> Alex Brown intercepts the foot. Let's take another look. That is a stellar effort on the part of the D. He's got his own all locked up tight. He knows how the play is going to go down. And that gives him the chance to step in and make a play himself. You can't coach that. That's their third interception of the game. And Peter, the D is homing in on the passing game. Yeah, tough play. The Raiders offense takes the field and they will start at their 40 yard line. Number 12 gets all of his arm into this pass, and they can't connect. Incomplete. 
Number 12 knows how to spread the ball around, as you can see by this passing chart here. He's getting the ball into his receiver's hands and has piled up two yards and one touchdown. Second down and four wideouts in the game. Number 69 gets the sack at the 35. If it was up to me, I'd, I'd bring him in. Number 69 sends this offense backpedaling with a nice sack in the backfield. They lose some yardage there, Peter. It has to feel like they're going down and up escalating. Yeah, a good rule of thumb here is to try to move the ball in the general direction of the other team's end zone. That, that's what usually works. Peter, he's really gotten after the quarterback in this game. Oh, hear that again. So far, he's got two tackles and two sacks. Number 12 throws a beauty to the right side, and it's complete at the 43, and touchdown. Colin Branch really delivers on this play. Let's take another look first at the catch. There it is, but he's not done. He's going to make his way forward for extra yards. Oh, he's a go-to guy for sure. That's his first touchdown of the day. And, and I think he's a guy you can count on to make those end zone catches. He sets a high standard for himself, and he usually meets it. Here's the extra point, and... It's good. Hey, way to go out there. Good job. Nice play. Nice play. Number eight kicking off for the Raiders. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number eight kicks it off. Roberts fields the kickoff at the 11. Packerty six. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, there's the drive result. The thing I want to talk about is how close this game is. When the score is like it is, one single mistake can change the whole game. They need to be careful here. Terrell Roberts took a kick that wasn't so hot and burst through the defense for a big game. The Browns offense is now on the field and except for a few big plays, they really can't be happy with their passing game up to this point. We'll see what they call on this drive as they start at the six-yard line. Green grabs the rope right side, and he's looking for room. Runs out of bounds at the 45. Michael Green secured a nice move after the catch to get away from the defense and get some more yards. A nice run after the catch, and that's what they expect from him. Heck, that's his job description. You won't see him running a post route, but you will see him make plays off those shorter catches. Green carries it for the 12th time and maybe picks up one on the play. Number 61 made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his second tackle so far. Third down and less than a yard. Number 83 goes in motion. Green cruises out to the left side and picks up the first down. Michael Green can thank his blockers for that last play. If it wasn't for them, that play would have tanked. A nice play, and with only a short distance to the first, they put it together and make it happen. Yeah, third and short always looks easy, but it's not Dan. It's good execution. Lyon rifles it out left side, and he hits his man for a pickup of nine. Eric Warfield had a man playing him close back there, but he made a great move to get the catch. Peter, I'm sure he's happy to bring that one in. The last three passes to him have all been incompletion. Yeah, he's struggling a bit there, but this may turn him around. Number 72 tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Number 72 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They managed to hold them behind the line of scrimmage, but... They have another shot at it coming up. Third and short. Let, let's see if they can come up with another big stand. Lyon throws a bullet, and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Anthony Thomas was with the receiver all the way back there on that deep corner route and interrupted the pass. 
incomplete. That was a fantastic job by the defense to stop what would have been a first down. I love to see Big D on third and short situations. Fourth down. Love to hear that from the refs. Collins takes the long snap and punts it away. The refs let this one bounce out of the end zone for a touchback. Todd Collins saw his kick go squirrely on him, flying out of the end zone for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. The Raiders are looking for some separation before half and will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Slides down and the clock keeps ticking away. Second down, tight end to the left. his number called on second down and maybe picks up one on the play. Jerome Davis used the blocking, but this stingy defense right didn't give up right much at all on that last play. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Number 25 goes in. Rips him down. The Browns take their first time up. Number eight lines up to punt after the three and out. Reggie Kelly to make the return. Number eight takes the snap and punts it away. Kelly takes it at the 33. Back down at the 40. Reggie Kelly didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. Had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their 40-yard line. Rifles it out left side, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Sean Ryan is really struggling out there today. As you can see by the numbers, it's all bad. Up to now, he's got 81 yards and three interceptions. Second down, Second three wideouts in the game. Collins makes the catch on the right sideline, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Ryan throws a heater, and the catch is made at the third. The Browns will take a timeout. That's their second. Second down, two tight ends in the game. I got 13. I got 13. Ryan made a throw that was off target there. Incomplete. Number 32 had superb coverage on that play. No wonder it was incomplete. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Lobs it to the left sideline, and it's caught for a touchdown. John Ryan goes right past the coverage and into his receipts. Nice throw. That touchdown will cut it close, Peter. That was a big play. Way to stay in the game. Time to make a play on the pass, D. No more good luck. Here's the extra point, and it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number 76, Rockets this one deep. 
Garrett decides to take it out of the end zone. Brought down at the 22. Kevin Garrett took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Raiders' offense takes the field with the clock at 12. Number 87 makes a tough catch, and that's good for six. So that'll bring the first half of football to a close as the clubs head to the locker room all time. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studio Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Ken. We'll get back to the second half of this divisional playoff game in a bit. But first, let's welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. Now let's take a look at the halftime stats. And boy, look at the difference in rushing yards. The Browns should be way ahead on the scoreboard. But somehow, they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Number 49 had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. A 34-yard touchdown for the Raiders. The Raiders strike first and go up by seven. Brown midway through the first, the Browns inside the red zone. Number 43 was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. Brown towards the end of the first quarter, Browns trailing by seven. Number 32 is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Raiders later in the second, number 25 would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Raiders winning seven to nothing. Michael Green get up ahead of steam and then it was clear sailing from there. A 23 yard play that set up a Browns touchdown. The Browns knotted up seven all. Brown midway through the second, the ball at their own 46. Alex Brown would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward INT. The Raiders, after getting an interception, game tied, seven all. Colin Branch came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. Browns late in the second quarter. Todd Collins came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. A 42-yard play that set up a Browns touchdown. And that's where we'll leave this one. Browns are keeping it evened up. We're tied, 14 all. And as far as my halftime hero, well, there's really no contest. Number 12 has played out Stan. That'll do it for me. Let's send you back out now to Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Dan? Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Browns get the ball first to start the second half, and they will have a chance to break the deadlock. It's all tied up here. Let's get down to the field and the action. Number eight kicks it, and the second half has now started. Roberts fields the second half kickoff at the one. Stopped at the 19. We've got a quick update from ESPN's very own Susie Culver. Susie. Thanks, Dan. Head coach Butch Dave to us at the half, and I asked him whether he thought the weather was partly responsible for their turnovers in the first half. He told me, yes, it has made the ball tougher to grip, and we just have to make certain to avoid further turnovers. We'll see how they do. Back to you. Thanks, Susie. Collins catches this one and is well past the markers for a first down. Dan, I like that step. Way to keep moving after the catch. Green has his number called on first down Michael and Green, maybe player. picks up one on the play. Okay, with the Michael Green used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much second at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Three, four, four. 
Green will get stopped at the line, and that will bring up third down. Number 32 not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. That will be his fourth tackle, and he's hitting hard out there in the secondary. Well, he's making them think twice before going his direction. Third down, nine yards to go. Number 61 gets the sack at the 30. Fourth down coming up. The Raiders took him down with only a three-man rush. The protection was uh, weak at best back there. Another good stop by the defense, and that will Don't be two losses in a row. In Collins the lines up for the punt. To make the return. Collins gets the ball and punts it away. Number 20 fields the punt at the 29. Tackled at the 37. Number 20, racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Raiders send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their 37-yard line. Number 12, rifles it out left side and it falls incomplete. With the deflection. Second down, one man back. Number 25 goes in motion. Number 30 gets the call on second down and heads left. Drag down at the 39. Number 30 used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. <laughs> Number 12 uncorks this to the left sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Number 24 couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Number eight takes the long snap and pummels this one deep. Kelly fields the deep punt at the 10. Tackled at the 24. Reggie Kelly returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of war and peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Browns stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 24-yard line. Green gets the handoff and gets past the line. Tackled at the 25. Michael tackle. Green got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Collins goes in motion. Number 41 hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. Sean Ryan tried to force a risky pass into double coverage, but incomplete. That would have set up a very manageable third and short play, Peter, but they couldn't sync up on that one. That's a tough break. Ryan zips it to the left sideline, and the reception's made at the 37, and he stopped right there. First down. Sean Ryan gets it past two defenders on this one. What a throw. It's worth a second look. That's what you call confidence. Throwing into double coverage like that, and, and what accuracy to boot. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lining up the stat sheet. Oh, you got it. So far, he's got 168 yards and one touchdown. Number 36 goes in motion. Hendricks penetrates and stops that back at the 36. Tommy Hendricks was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. Stopped at the 43. Sean Ryan didn't see anything downfield on that last play, so he took it himself for a nice game. That's what you call thinking on your feet. 
third and four. Ball to Brown, 43 yard line. Collins calls it in right side and they convert on third down. Todd Collins faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. That's another medium-range catch for him. He's really found his niche in there. Yeah, and unless he starts getting shut down, there's no reason for him to move out of it. As you can see, he's up over the century mark. Oh, he came to play today. Lyon zings it to the right side, and Fitzcott just barely passed the markers for a first. Sean Ryan goes right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. Another beautiful throw here in the third, and he has been on game so far. Yeah, what a boon to have a general like that on your side. Collins goes in motion. Green has his number called on first down and barely picks up the first down. It all worked out on that last play, blocking both at the line and downfield. Made some great running, too. Nice run, Peter, and he's putting together some very nice stats. Definitely. Up to now, he's got 78 yards on 19 carries. one deep to the end zone and it's tipped incomplete number 43 couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet they have really gotten after the ball as a team today that is their fifth batted ball nice aggressive D Collins goes in motion Johnson makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Eric Johnson came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. You know, as a team, they are batting down passes left and right. That is their sixth so far. Wow, great anticipate pass. Humble! The Raiders have it. Number 41 turns things around by forcing the ball loose. It gets recovered right here. And they get some good yards out of it. Great turn of events for this defense. Peter, there are many ways you can start a drive, but uh, a turnover is not one of them. No, definitely not. That was a big-time play. The Raiders want to capitalize on the fumble and will start this drive at their 46-yard line. Is at the 40, 25, eventually pushed out of bounds at the 18. It will be first down. First down with the tight end right. Number 40 gets the call on first down and heads wide left. Right down at the 15. Number 53 with the tackle. Counter, counter, counter. Second and seven. Ball at the 15. Number 30 goes in motion. Gains three yards and that will bring up third down. Number 12 throws a heater right sideline and it's off incomplete.
Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Number 15. Number 14 from 29 yards out, and they take the lead. Number 14 takes the field goal, but watch how close the ball gets to the upright. Man, a few more inches, and he'd have made the highlight reel. Not the way he would have wanted to, though. Number eight kicking off for the Raiders. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number eight kicks this one away. Roberts catches it back at the one. Tackled at the 21. Terrell Roberts got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run. Hey, I like those stats. Great receiving yards. Number 83 didn't haul that one in, and it falls Number incomplete. Was the Number 83 receiver. was frustrated on that Thomas play. He got open, but failed to make the catch across the middle for the incompletion. That's the third, hey, Peter. Yeah, and he's starting to look a little frustrated down there, too. Second down from the shotgun. Lyon gets some air under this pass, and it got away from him a bit incomplete. Sean Ryan got the pass off on that last play but barely the defensive pressure caused that pass to be incomplete. That would have gotten the first but it's incomplete and it will be third down. Collins grabs the fastball over the middle they get the first on third and long. Todd Collins does a great job here battling three defenders. It's definitely worth a second look. Let's watch. And he still comes up with the ball. Wow, you can't coach that. Peter, yet another grab here in the third, and he's been working hard the whole game. It's all about consistency, and he's been that today. What a player. Well, check out the passing performance here. Talk about yards. Ryan fires this one over the middle, and it is not reeled in, incomplete. Sean Ryan thought he could beat the double coverage, but the pass was incomplete. Potential for a quick first down, but, oh, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation, and it's really not going to hurt you. That's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Second down from the eye. Number 41 tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Number 41 swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Lion throws this on a rope. And the completion is made, short of the markers, however. Fourth down coming up. Alex Brown managed to take him down before he got to the markers. That's his third tackle of the game. Collins gets ready to punt this away. Collins gets the snap and punts it away. Number 20 catches it at the 20. Crack down at the 23. Number 20 didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Raiders will start this drive at their own 23-yard line. Davis will get stopped at the line, and that brings up second down. Second and nine. Ball three, four yards. Brent pulls the line down, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Colin Branch took his lone defender to school on that last play, making the catch with relative ease. Another great catch, and Peter, he's been working that right side of the field with good success. Yeah, it looks like he's found a weakness, and uh, he's going to exploit it. Yeah. 
Number 12 throws a bullet here, and it's tipped. Is incomplete. incomplete. Tony Parrish, Tony Parrish managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Well there. Second down coming up. Number 30 goes in motion. Davis barrels off his left guard and picks up a couple. And if we can back up a moment, that was a great pass attempt. And Tony Parrish has really come into his own the past couple of years, picking off seven passes in 2002 and then taking nine away last year. Tied for tops That's in the, the NFL. The and that'll do it for the third quarter. The Raiders with a small lead, 17 to 14. Number 12, zings it to the right side, and they get the first on third and long. Number 12 is putting on quite a display out there, Dan. He's finding his receivers and getting into a rhythm out there, both with the long and the short ball. He's racked up 197 yards and two touchdowns. Watch the pass! First and 10. Ball up the 40 yard. Davis carries it for the ninth time and will end up losing a bunch here. Number 35 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. He's got such like grip, Peter. It's got to be hard to break out of his grasp, even when you're one of the uh, slipperier runners. Second down with a split backfield. Davis goes right up the middle and moves forward for seven. Number 30 made a heck of a lead block on that play. They move the ball, and that'll bring up Let's third down. There's no fool left in their tank. Single back, single back. Jack, come on, come on, man. Jack, Number 50 tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Number 50 got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning, and they forced the incompletion with relative ease. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Fourth down, three yards to go. Number 14 boots it from 50 yards out and can't quite get enough leg behind that one. Number 14 is visibly unhappy with himself after missing this long field goal. Watch this. Well, he'll want to redeem himself after that. Question is, will his coach trust him with another long one next time? The Browns stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their 14th. Brown tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Alex Brown knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Warfield goes in motion. Rifles it out left side, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Chad Hutchinson would have had some room on the outside on that play if only he had made the catch incomplete. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete, and it will be third down. Number 43 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. That will bring up fourth down. Number 43 got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. That's his third batted ball. And he is doing his part, that is for sure. Nice to see aggressive D like that, Dan. 
Collins lines up to punt after the three and out. Collins takes the snap and punts it away. Number 20 fields the punt at the 16. Ground to a halt at the 18. Number 20 got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Raiders had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 18-yard line. Number 30 catches it in the flat and is at the 25. Stopped at the 28. Number 30 made the catch without any challenge from the defense, and he took advantage of it. A nice run after the catch, and that's what they expect Second from him. Heck, that's his job description. You won't see him running a post route, but you will see him make plays off those shorter catches. Number 46 goes in motion. Number 30 will get the carry on second down and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Number 50, Number 50 the made the six, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. He now has five tackles in the game. Wow, look at those tackles. That's how you play sideline to sideline. David yards, and that brings up first down. First Jerome Davis Raiders. was assisted on that play by some great blocking that opened up holes for him. Without those blockers, he would have been toast. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. Davis gets the call again and chews up about four on the play. Jerome Davis has got a bunch of carries, and you can see by his chart here how his running performance breaks down mostly to the outside, and it's working okay, although I'd like to see him mix it up a little bit more. So far, he's got 63 yards on 12 carries. Second and five. Well, the Ravens, 36 yards. Davis carries it for a third time in a row and heads wide right. There's no one in front of him. Finally stopped at the 37. It will be first down. Jerome Davis finds the hole on this one and gains some good yardage. Wow, great blocking on that play. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. First down, one man back. Garrett gets past the line and heads up field. Brought down hard at the 25. First down. This is a great run, Dan. Look at the yards he chews up. Peter, he had a great jump off the line. He was in fifth gear before the defense could even react. Motored for some easy yards. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing the move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Number 30 goes in motion. Number 40 is at the 15. Touchdown! Number 40 finds the hole on this one and gains some good yardage. Wow, great blocking on that play. That touchdown is going to establish some distance between them, Peter. That's a big score. Number stay 14 low, to attempt low. the extra point. Number 15 holding. Here's the point after, and it's good. Number eight, kicking off for the Raiders. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Number eight kicks it off. Roberts fields the kickoff at the three. Tackled at the 23. Terrell Roberts got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. Look at the numbers generated on the ground. That is impressive. Green gets the ball, and the ball's loose. Johnson penetrates and stops him back at the 21. Todd Collins recovered the ball, but this is an all-out terrible play for the offense. 
They get it back there, but <laughs> that's just dumb luck. Pass is going over the top. Second and 11. Leopard, Leopard. Ball out of bounds. 21 yard line. Number 83 grabs the rope right side and picks up four on the play. Sean Ryan lived dangerously on that play with a pass into double coverage, but the throw was on target. What a pass. Another short pass, and he likes that area of the field so far. Yeah, why not? He's had success there. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Ryan throws a beauty to the right side, and the big catch is made with daylight in front of him. Eventually shoved out at the 12. That will bring up first down. Number 83 bought for a whole lot more after the catch back there. Great run. They don't have their eye on the deep game much to work out. Yeah, try and try again, and you'll eventually succeed, huh? Warfield goes in motion. Green gains three yards, and that will bring up second down. Number 72 with the tackle. Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. Throws a bullet to the flat, and it's off incomplete. With the deflection. Third down, seven yards to go. Number 61 attacks him way back at the 15. Fourth down coming up. Number Fourth down in the field goal unit is on the field. Number 76 kicks it from 32 yards and it's through the uprights. Number 76 has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. There's the signal, and we're ready. Number 76 rockets this one deep. Garrett decides to take it out of the end zone. Brought down at the 21. Kevin Garrett got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Raiders' offense takes the field with time winding down. They'll start at their own 21-yard line. Davis will get the carry on first down and will lose about a yard here. Number 23 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get to the line of scrimmage. That's his third tackle of the game. Second and 11. Ball for Raiders. 20 yard line. Number 25 goes in motion. Number 30 gets his seventh carry of the game and chews up about four on the play. Number 12 zips it to the left sideline and it's caught just barely past the markers for a first. Number 12 is showing off some precision passing out there, Dan. Clearly, he's exploiting the short game so far and he's got 214 yards and two touchdowns. First down, just a single receiver on the field. 
Number 25 goes in motion. First down, two tight ends in the game. Davis carries it for the 15th time and heads wide right. Tack. The Browns take their first time out. Well, as you can see, up over the 100-yard mark, just another day in the office. Davis cruises out to the left side, and the Browns will take a timeout. That's their second. Second down, second two yards two. to go. Davis has his number called on second down. The Browns take a timeout. That's their final one. Let's step it up this time. First and ten. All for 41. A loss of yards here, but they aren't too concerned about that. They just want to keep that clock moving. Can we get somebody in here that's going to challenge me, please? Ball number 43. Well, this is where the offense goes in slow motion. No hurry to start the play. Use up as much time as possible. Well, that loss will bring up third down, but they can't be too worried about it. They're still eating up the clock. Dan, I want to point out something on that last play. Did you notice the job he did in letting the play clock wind all the way down before snapping the ball? That's good clock management. And that is going to That's do it for game. this one. The Raiders come out on top 24-17. to 17. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. All right, gang, thank you so much. And let's welcome everybody back to our ESPN studios. We welcome you to our playoff edition of the ESPN Video Games Post Game Report. I'm Chris Berman. The Raiders stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's start this on the first play from scrimmage in the second half. Sean Ryan would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. This time at the 30, number 72 would turn things around. Big shift in momentum here as he pounced on a fumble. Defense recovered. The Raiders, after recovering a fumble, game tied 14 all. Jerome Davis would make the first guy miss, then he'd rip off a chunk of yardage here. The Raiders have it again, number 12, connected with his man on this one. A 21-yard play that set up a Raider field goal, but they couldn't connect. Raiders up 17 to 14. Number 40 bounces this one to the outside and is gonna get some room to maneuver out there. A 25-yard touchdown for the Raiders. The Raiders now up by 10. 
The Browns answering right back. Number 83 emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. That set up a 30-yard field goal. And that's where we'll leave this one. Raiders win, and they've earned a trip to the conference title game. Hold on. It's only getting better from here. Your final score, 24-17. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Number 12 is standing by with Susie Kalber. Suze? Thank you, Chris. You excelled under press today, and you edged them out in a hard-fought game. What put you guys over the top? Man, to be honest with you, I really think someone's looking out for us today. We're just blessed to come up with this win. I'm just very happy and thankful that we come out on top, and now we have to look to keep on moving forward. Back to you, Chris. Well, that just about does it. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time here on ESPN, celebrating 25 years as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. So long.